What's up everybody, welcome to another video here on Alvaro's Outdoor Adventures. Uh, today's video I'm going to be reviewing this product, this tackle bag from H2O Express that are sold at um, Academy. Uh, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Um, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if you have this bag or something similar to H2O Express bags from Academy. And um, stay tuned. Small cat. <laughs> it's half a pound point. No. One point two four, one point two something. So it's right between. 1.24 and 1.3 because it just keeps on going up and down there we go 1.24 1.23 it's stable finally so little catfish nothing to brag about but a catch a catch it's a legal catfish so i'm gonna take this one home and do um some fried catfish. Alright, magic trick. <clears throat> Alright, magic trick. So here I have two pieces of chalkboard that I created. Um, this one, I'm just going to write Alvaros, put the S better. Outdoor. Adventure. So I'll put Alvaro's Outdoor Adventures on this chalkboard and I'll put it straight up with the other one. Now, as you're watching videos in my channel and you're um, going through them, put, hitting the like button, always don't forget before you do anything else to also subscribe. Yeah. All right, so I'm out here doing some fishing on my uh, boat. I just caught one, uh, a second catfish. Um, the other one's on another video. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna go over this H2O Express uh, tackle bag. It's in my in my words, it, it's very sturdy. I like the material that it's built off and uh, it has a lot of extra spaces and it's spacious it's lightweight itself 
but once you put uh, your stuff in it, it, um, it will become heavy. Uh, it has a very soft pad support where you could hang it and go all everywhere if you do bank fishing or if you boat fish well you just get it from the truck and load it into the boat but uh really comfortable strap so you can put it onto your shoulder and um, walk the bank with it <clears throat> it's very it has a lot of room inside so they did not cheat out on any on on the room so these types of tackle boxes this size it's the one that fits inside of the uh, bag uh, and let me just give you a measurement 14 inches so you can fit a 14 inches uh, tackle box how I have it set up it's I have my hooks a uh, box of hooks on the top then I have my wire leaders and my rattlers along with um, the spacing that comes with them I put them all in one box in the corner and I have a third box where it has all accessories like barrel swivels beads uh, stoppers you name them uh, that's where I use them and I also use this long one over here I took all of the uh, dividers in here and put uh, my wire leaders I used two sets of uh, weights so these are my sliding uh, weights and of course this is gonna build up some weight and then I have these other types of weights that I use for drop shot or something else okay. It's a total of three, four, five boxes that you get. And you see at the bottom, it comes up a very hard mold. Keep these, don't throw them away. These would absorb all the moisture. So whenever you're out, um, anything that you throw back inside the bag, uh, that will absorb all the moisture. It's easy to take things in and out I always put my weights all the way to the bottom and then the my accessories and then at the top I uh, put my my hooks why do I put my hooks on the top because I like to sometimes I am fishing a certain bait and then all of a sudden I want to uh, change my, the bait type, I just change the uh, hook. And I use these leaders that uh, you could just snap that has a swivel at the bottom, you snap them, take out the old uh, hook and put the new one in. Okay, along with this it has two spacious uh, compartments on the side. Uh, you can put extra stuff here, I have my um, measuring tape uh, this is to load the, the line and also my scale and it still has room for more it's, it's a good inch inch and a half of space on the other side the same thing here I have more leaders uh, that's all I have on, on, on this side Here at the top it also has a bag. It's not heavy, but this is where I keep my license and boat registration and uh, boater course uh, test or certificate and um, Then here at the front it also has another bag uh, and Here I have extra hugs lines uh, you name it. Uh, mostly hooks and, and lines. Uh, again, very sturdy bag. The material is not cheap at all. It's it's very sturdy bag. I can put a lot of weight, and it's not it's not going to come apart very easy. And 
this zips up this way and then you clamp it down together. A uh, bag like this, this, this was gifted to me by my wife. It was a Christmas present. I believe it was like $39 or $29.99. Uh, but it's well worth it. You know, you'll come up to um, some of the bags in Walmart that are uh, less quality and run about the same price. This is an Academy. I bought, uh, my wife bought it at Academy. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description for this bag from Amazon, but it is a great bag. I, I do recommend it. I fell in love with it, especially the material. I uh, wish you guys could get your hands on one, on one of these so you could feel the type of material it is. It's not cheap plastic. It's not cheap polyester. Even the padding on this, it's great. You know? There's a lot of bags that they just come with the strap and after carrying it a while it starts putting a, a bead on your shoulder. Uh, this pad, you could carry it for a longer time and not have that beading on your shoulder. But um, <clears throat> do recommend it. H2O Express, um, made by, uh, I think they're made by Academy. But um, they are, they are great. They are. So let me know in the comments what uh, if you have one of these bags or if you're in the market for these bags Let me know in the comments what you guys think about them. If you are in the market for them I would tell you right now go buy it um, That's just my opinion because I did fall in love with these. I do I do like them uh, I'm not sponsored by H2O Express or Academy. Let's get that out of the way uh, it's just a small review I'm doing on this bag since I uh, just became a fan of them. So again, let me know in the comments. If you have one of these, what you think about them. Uh, if you had them for a long time, how long have they lasted? Or if they didn't work out for you, why? Uh, that way I can look into see if that's a problem with this or if it was just a one-off or, or anything like that. But let me know in the comments what you think of this bag. Again, if you're in the market for this, go ahead, get them. I do recommend them. Uh, again, I'm not sponsored by them, but I do recommend them. Well, everybody, hope you liked this video. Uh, if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if you guys use this bag or have uh, think about purchasing this uh, tackle bag. If you did, uh, I do. Um, if, if this is something you want to consider, I do recommend it uh, because of the quality and everything I explained. Uh, but let me know in the comments if you own one of these bags or if you're in the market of one of these bags. Again, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the bell, uh, bell button so you can get notified anytime I upload a video. And as always, I'll see you at the outdoors.